Okay, so this is a news that might not make you happy. Apple iPhone 15 lineup will have eSIM only variants in more markets than they ever did. Well, France, Germany, Ireland, UK, Spain, and are the places where we can actually see eSIM only iPhones, not just only US. Now, this is still just a rumor, by the way. One thing is that not every country with an Apple store has widely adopted eSIM. And not just that, some carriers don't even offer eSIMs as an option. Now, here's the thing. Now, switching to eSIM only iPhones actually makes it a little hard for people who switches their SIM cards quite often. But the eSIM offers significant security benefits simply because it can't be stolen or removed from the phone easily. Another thing is that it actually frees up a lot more space inside the iPhone which might even help Apple to just put two more Taptic engines inside there for the new solid state buttons. Yes, but what about the Dynamic Island or any upgrades to that? Well, according to Ross Young though, the pill cutout of the Dynamic Island is coming to the standard iPhones this year, but not the high refresh rate panels. The LTPO high refresh rate panel with the Dynamic Island will actually come to the standard iPhones in 2025. So yeah, Apple will go all out, all LTPO models in 2025. The under panel face ID sensors will also debut on the Pro and the Ultra models in 2025. There will be only one hole for the selfie get out, but that's for the Pro and Ultra model, as I said. And in 2027, the under panel face ID sensor and the punch hole cutout will come to the standard models, and the Pro and the Ultra model will go all out under panel face ID plus under panel selfie camera. So that means it will be just a simple normal glass. There will be no cutout, none of those things. That is insane, but in 2027. Now that's not only, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is also rumored to come with a periscope camera this year. According to Minchikuo, Apple will actually be paying a little less than $4 per periscope camera module to Logan, one of the Apple's go-to lens supplier. But then again, the $4 thing might seem ridiculously low for such an advanced piece of technology, but we should never forget that there is the R&D cost and the algorithm and all those things and the amount of modules they are buying all at the same time. So, so definitely you can expect the iPhone 15 Pro Max less ultra model to be a little more expensive. We are hearing about 100 bucks or so more expensive. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.